Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3 Blind. In the last episode, we got the Egg of Light, which ought to be in our items, if I were to guess. Um, here it is. Said to have the power to create or destroy an entire... Well, lordy, yeah, that's a little important. Wow. We have quite a few items here. A lot of maps. Alright, well, let's move on then. This episode, we're going into the Thunder Tower, apparently. This is the staff entrance to Thunder Tower. Say, Commander, did you ever find that embarrassing item of yours that you accidentally threw away? Yeah, sure did. So I guess this is still Chapter 5 then. Interesting. Wonder what we're gonna find in here. Like, okay, is this the entire tower here? It's just an elevator? Because I thought we were about to go through like a huge dungeon kind of thing. What's up? Hey, you guys, you're suspicious. You're here to destroy Thunder Tower, aren't you? So I'd say if any suspicious people snuck in. So as you can see, security here is airtight. Gotcha. Oh, this doesn't look good. They're giving us a chance to do everything. Tower sketch. Okay, so we are going through a dungeon of sorts. Never mind. Okay, well, that's where we start this. What does this thing give us? Sure. So, good stick. Holy moly, that is damage. Rubber boots. Another very good item. Brown collar for bony. Oh, I want all of them. I really do. Mm, and you know what? I'd be willing to sell a secret herb if I had to. Honestly. Oh, you're not, you're not money. What am I doing? We're right behind you, supporting you 100% from the sidelines. Yeah, I still haven't had to use that. Because to be fair, four characters having inventory is, like, a lot. <laughs> DP stuff. Um, looks like we have enough for at least one of them. Uh, if... Oh, Kumator is feverish. Sweet. So maybe, like, a freeze beta would be lit at the moment. So. Let's see the the stats here. So, brown collar is 1600. That's the most. Understandably so, because that's adding 10 defense and 10 offense to Boney at the same time. Rubber boots. Uh, let's actually check what our current stats are. Because I know that good stick is not really worth it. We have plenty of power with Lucas as it is. Yeah, we have 20. 26 isn't a big, the biggest change. 12 to 26 is a, or what was it, 23? That's a big change. Especially when Duster is one of our main physical attackers. I would like that. Um, Boney, yeah, you're going from 10-10 to 20-20. Boney's item is definitely the my first, my first priority. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. And if I can, I'm gonna buy Boney and Duster's item. And I think that should be good. I will sell a secret herb if needed, to be honest. So, first priority is bonies, I'm gonna say. That brown collar is really nice. Yes. And sell that. So that gives us 800. We need, oh, 25, that's a lot for him. So we need 500, about 550 to get this. Do you think there's anything we could sell? Saltwater gun, I haven't used it yet. I'll use it on the next mechanical enemy, I suppose. Once I get a chance, we do have two secret herbs would get us it. We have a lot of secret herbs, to be honest. I'm not sure if we need them all. Um, how much would uh, his current thing sell for? 85. Okay. We can sell the ordinary gloves. That'll help. Uh, magic tart. We really haven't needed it, have we? We have a lot of secret herbs. We have like four, don't we? Yeah, okay. That super bomb is a thousand? Oh my god, is it worth it? I'm not sure if that's worth it, but that is so much damage. Oh my god. I'm assuming it's so much damage. 
If I could sell things to the point where I only have to sell one secret or herb, I would be happy. But that's a lot. Here, I'm gonna go ahead. Is the salt water gun that worth it? I don't know. I'm selling one secret herb. That puts us at about 200 below. The salt water gun would get us the thing. So would the luxury banana. I don't need extra healing from the luxury banana. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm gonna repeat that to myself for days to come because I do not need it. Equip it, sell the durable shoes. I think that'll do it for us. That was a lot of deciding what to do there, but I think I made the right decision in getting and buying those items. Cause uh, those are good. Those are, that's a big increase. Just so we don't die and lose our stuff. Okay, I think we should be ready to go in. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Okay. Oh, that's not an enemy. Oh, it is. Okay. A whatever and its cohort. And Duster, of course, being a boss. Yo, we're almost at 200 HP with Duster and Lucas. I just realized. That is impressive. Uh, go ahead and bop him with a fire, see how that does. Became friendly and effe- oh. Oh, that's bad. I was like, oh, it's a good enemy. <laughs> Mechanical Khmer- ah, weak against fire, sweet. And a s weak against sleep. And it has like no attack power, so we're good. Alright, sweet. This should be some easy not- That's like no HP! Lucas can't move, who cares? We're about to knock these things out. Oh, guess I should have tried the combo so I could knock it out that turn. Yeah, those are weak. Worth a lot of experience as well. Oh, I guess 200 isn't a lot at this point, is it? So we also have these. Do they actually ch Yeah, it looks like it's chasing us, so let's go ahead and fight it. Minor robot suddenly attacked. Okay, let's go ahead and flip them around if we can. Uh, Kumatora, use a freeze. It's probably not weak to it, though. We have... Mechanical, weak against lightning, weak against strangeness. Okay. Interesting. Flipped him right on around. Look at that battery pack. Not bad. That still does respectful damage. Ah, oh, I timed that horribly. I think we could just knock him out with normal attacks at this point. Or maybe not. Wow. Batteries died? Okay. Everyone's doing really good damage now after all of those upgrades. Jeez. And it gave us 230 just by it. That makes me think that it has some super scary powerful attack that it has. Because it did nothing. Uh, I'm gonna flip them around just in case. We'll go ahead and smack them with a thunder. Jeez, though. So it did nothing. Its battery pack died. And that was it. Huh. Oh, that sucked. Huh, it is worth a ton of experience, though. Like, and I mean that this time. That's double the experience of those other enemies that were in this room. That's more than double. So I don't know. We have look, what looks like a maze here. I'm assuming we probably have to act, activate those electric spots or something similar to that. So let's check out those rooms. Oh, wish they could make some new angry catfish at the Chimera Lab. Huh, you don't know about the Chimera Lab? Surely you're joking again. Hmm, Chimera Lab, huh? I hear rice with egg on top is all the rage lately. Is that like going back to basics or something? I don't really get... Ah, C Commander! The rice with egg on top I just mentioned. It's actually a technical term, meaning the genera gen generator's danger is in danger. Okay, I guess. Nope, there goes the fever. Hypnosis Alpha, okay, so we can now put people to sleep with her as well. If this catfish doesn't work hard, we'll run out of power. And if that happens, our mean, scary boss will get mad. If that happens, I I'll get lumps on my head. So please work hard, catfish. Who's the boss? Cow hat, what? 
That definitely sounds like an equip. Cow hat, plus 10 defense. Um... Can I give the DC MC hat to, uh... To Duster? Because I would like him to outspeed some enemies so we can turn him around the first turn, you know? I'm assuming we can give the cowboy hat to literally anyone. Oh no, we can only give it to us and Boney. What does Boney have then? Just plus eight defense. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's a little more worth it for Boney. So we'll go ahead and give it to him. Although, who can get the, uh, the DCMC hat? Duster can. What does he currently have? Nine? It would be down two defense, but he would have up to speed. Yeah, I want him to have more speed, so I'm going to go ahead and equip that to... Well, hold on. Give to Duster. And then... I'm not sure if you can use from that screen. Equip that. And equip the DCMC hat. Just for an extra bit of speed. Um, now... <laughs> This is a lot of this stuff. Um, what'd you have? Sparrow Bandana. That can only go to you, so we can't really give it to anyone else. Okay. Uh, I would like to talk to him. Oh yes, Mr. Facade is here at Thunder Tower. Ooh, I want to kill him again. He seems the same as ever. So, a jerk. Okay, well, let's go kill him as fast, fast as possible. So, those electric spots are actually generators, I'm guessing. So... Not sure if there's anything special we need to do here. Electric catfish. Extremely weak now. Huh. Sometimes I, sometimes I have trouble seeing, like, who's actually on my team and who's not. Is this an enemy? Pencils. Oh no, they're Battery Man. Battery Man. There's no way. They gotta get healed by electricity. I, if I were to guess, that is. We'll turn around. Actually, you know what? Let's put this other guy to sleep. While we focus on this dude. Batteries don't like the cold, right? <laughs> Battery man fell over. Attacked with a 1.5 V kick. Fault, I'm assuming. Go to sleep. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I like their little lol face. You know that meme? The old meme? Weak against ice? Weak against sleep. <laughs> How convenient! After I use freeze and hypnosis on them. Nice. Oh, whoops. Messed that one up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this other guy. I bet this one in the front's dead. Electric shock attack. That's thunder, basically. Yep, there he goes. Figured as much. That'll wake him up, but we can now bop him real quick. And we solidified him. Look at that. Look at that combo right there. Too easy. So nothing in here is really much of a threat, I figure. Can we get a three-person fight here? Nah. This will give us a ton of experience, though. I'm showing all these just because it's, you know, various combinations. New enemies. Relatively new enemies. Do I really want to use that here, though? Um... Yeah, I'm just going to attack normally with Lucas, because healing is important. Uh, let's see if we can't put this other one to sleep, because it feels like it's a huge threat. Simply because of how useless it was so far. I don't know. And we'll go ahead and take out the battery man. Jesus. Please put him to sleep. That scares me. Threw a punch. Yeah, it is fairly strong compared to everything else at the very least. Jesus, two crits in one turn, okay. Well, let's go ahead and knock this boy out. He was weak to thunder? I don't remember. Oh wait, I wanted to turn him around, not put him to sleep. Yeah, he throws bombs! Yeah, that's dangerous. That's definitely dangerous, no wonder. Come on, just knock him out, we can do it. Nope. Okay, it's batteries just died. Cool. Well, that's why it had so much experience, huh? 
Odd. I was expecting a level up from that. Uh, I keep going to the wrong stuff. Also, saltwater gun will come in handy in here for sure. But I do want to wait until we've come across a boss that we will surely see. I should have used beta. We will surely see a boss in here sometime. I have no doubts. Uh, I think we can make it. Keeps inching closer. I think he's locked onto us. Let's move back a bit. Uh... How did that work? So we don't fight these guys unless we physically press A. Worth. So worth. We can only fight three of them at once. Okay. Um... Like, they get knocked out by a normal attack in a... in a PSI... fire, so that's just what I'm gonna do. <laughs> that should work. Oh no! Oh, that's not gonna knock him out. HP sucker! Rude! Maybe this was a bad idea. I think we just knocked this one out straight out. Nope, not close enough. Oh well, it's knocked out by this for sure. Cool. Lucas can't move. God. Alright, another fire. Knock out this one that's still alive. HP sucker, you didn't take any damage, my dude. Nah, oh, it's still gonna be knocked out. It looked the other way. Okay. Yeah, these two are definitely dead from this PK fire. No way they're not. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Cool. This is at least gonna be like a ton of experience, you know. That's the main reason for doing this, I think. Looked the other way. Okay, they're all focusing on Lucas, I notice, which is kind of sweet to me, because I could just heal it all off with one beta. Cool, now there's one. Then there was one. I'm just gonna straight up attack this dude. Started beeping? I'm assuming that's just a waste of turn thing, and not like an I'm about to explode thing. 490, worth it, level up, told ya, what's up? Quator is now level 23. Boney's now level 23 as well. Told you it's worth it. And we got some magic gelatin. <sighs> Y'all are probably like, oh, it's not worth it. What are you doing? Yeah, get out of here. Uh, yeah, all we really need is one beta on Lucas and we're done. That's all they attacked. Oop, okay. Hi there. I didn't think he would actually get it to us. Okay. Well, let's not. <laughs> How about no? Turn this guy around, use a PK fire. I don't care if they're weak to thunder or ice or whatever. Those guys are weak, I'm not worried about them. Oh, well, they do have thunder, I suppose, but it's still weak. Turn around, please. Yes. This ought to knock their block of towers off. Oh, that guy only takes seven from that, okay. Will he take damage from love? He will. Okay. Well, I think one fire will knock out both of these battery dudes in the back, so let's go for that. And we'll just keep physically attacking the guy in front. Yeah, that's nothing. Dang, I am bad at this, apparently. Batteries died, get wrecked. I think it already always dies when it's in the back, I feel. No, they're still not dead. Okay, well, we can just spam attacks now and probably get through. Because they're weak. But I guess I am getting pretty low on HP. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Simple. 562 experience. Duster leveled up. Sweet. Cool. What's going on? DC MC pamphlet. I don't know why would we have why we would get that now. 
effective against DCMC fans. Uh, unless we fight another DCMC fan. I'm assuming this guy right here must be a DCMC fan since that was there. Apparently Mr. Facade is on his way here. Commander, weren't you with him? Definitely not. Okay. So, yeah, heal. <laughs> and... One on Boney. Well, actually, Boney's really low. No, he's not. Okay. We are good, methinks. So, in the next episode, we're going to explore the rest of this place. I'm assuming we want to get to that little uh, thunderbolt right there in the middle. Because there is a ladder that's probably going to send us up through some of this. Looks like Donkey Kong, if you ask me. But uh, we'll see. See you all in the next episode. And goodbye.